There is a new video circulating on the social media concerning Samuel Eto. Samuel Eto is a Cameroon football FA chief. And uh, he's also an ambassador to this 2022 World Cup organized by FIFA at Qatar. Now, yeah, who videos be a echo about now? Samuel Eto. Yeah, who said only a brand TV echo to qua and I say, Oh, but to go to a brand TV, I would do her. This incident happened right after the match between Portugal and South Korea in Doha uh, at a stadium called 974. Uh, this incident has brought about division uh, in the social media and people are just talking about it in favor and against. But we've dived into the situation and we've come to realize what triggered the issue. If you could remember, uh, in eight months ago when Africa were playing their uh, qualifying, World Cup qualifying, in FIFA World Cup qualify for this 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Cameroon and Algeria had a match. And uh, that was, I think, the third play that the third match that they were supposed to have. So Cameroon defeated Algeria 2 1. But there was an incident that, you know, triggered. And this YouTuber. Who has been presenting and be bringing uh, videos to viewers across the globe? Said Mamouni is an YouTuber, an Algerian YouTuber, uh, who happened to approach Samuel Eto and question him about if indeed he bribed referee Bakari Papa Gasama, if indeed he bribed. Bakari Papa Kasama, a referee that stood in for Cameroon and Algeria for the qualifiers. And this, to be honest, aggravated Samuel Eto and made him, you know, um, had that kind of fiscal fight and pushed the gentleman down. And there is an, another trending video that a gentleman side. Mamuni is showing uh, his injury. We're going to play that one for you to also see. And we also play Samuel Otto. Um, his an apology. He sent. He has brought an apology, which indicating that he's sorry for what it, it transpired. But the reason why Samuel Otto did what he did was the fact that, according to the release or the statement Samuel Eto brought, he's trying to retreat to the fact that that match between Cameroon and Algeria has continuously been, you know, in the in the in the realms of the Algerians, and Algerians have been harassing and be causing problems for the Cameroons, being a supporter, being the FA supporters, and everybody. Algerians are always attacking the Cameroons based on the fact that they defeated them in the qualifying and they think they think that uh, the referee Bakari Papa Gasama was bribed by Eto and we all know that Eto is the chief for the Cameroon FA and this wake up to Cameroon was part of it but Fortunately or unfortunately, they defeated Brazil 1-0 against Brazil, but it couldn't sustain them in this uh, World Cup to the uh, quarterfinal. You know, in a development, we're going to give you, we will come out to give you the quarterfinals, the summary, who have qualified for the quarterfinal. We played with the round 16, now we're going to the quarterfinal. And one African country that is doing so marvelous, is Morocco. We will come to talk about Morocco and we will give you their secret and their plans and how they are managing to sustain this uh, work up. The next match, which one African country we are talking about, Morocco, is going to play will be on the 10th. But we hope that 
Morocco will make sure we we'll defeat whoever comes in their way and we'll give you an update concerning that. But Samuel Eto, like we said, has brought out a statement apologizing to his fans, to the FA and to the Algerians and everyone in this current World Cup that is happening. And I said this happened at Doha, Qatar. That is after the match between Portugal and South Korea. But we trying to say that somewhere Eto need to exercise restraint because it's of his position and um, as a FIFA president or a Cameroon FIFA FA chief, you don't have to engage in the public and you know let people provoke you and continuously you know uh, exhibiting something that is that is not of you. So somewhere Eto, as we all know. You, we don't see you being a violent, but for this reason, we don't, you know, condone this kind of behavior. And Said Mamouni and Algerians, we also say that uh, this need, you know, you have to let the sleeping dog lies, and we we need not to cry over the spoiled me regarding the qualifying uh, that happened eight months ago. So these are. As the slide goes, this is the match that really transpired between Cameroon and Algeria and went in favor of Cameroon 2 1. Until we meet you again, we say thank you very much and have a wonderful time. And try to subscribe, share, and like our videos as we bring to you. Thank you.